in this video i will be explaining you the theorem uh, theorem number 18.4 the name of the theorem is maps into products okay so in the name itself when immediately after reading the topic or title you one thing should come in your mind that is uh, they are talking about a mapping and that mapping is from a set to the products okay so it means they they are talking about the mappings f from a to x cross y okay that is what they are talking about so this is given by the equation this i will tell you how they have written this sentence they what they are doing is they are taking and this is a mapping right so from this a they are taking an element that is small a we know that if a belongs to this capital a then f of a belongs to this x cross y right and that f of a will be in this format because this is x cross y the elements in x cross y will be in this format in this format okay so that is why they have written f from let f from a a to x cross y be given by the equation f of a is equal to f1 of a comma f2 of a then what if it is like that then f is continuous if and only if when f is continuous f1 from a to x and f2 from a to y are continuous here f1 and f2 are coordinate functions of f okay Uh, if f1 from a to x and f2 from a to y are continuous, then f will be continuous. That is what the meaning for this statement. So, let, without any, without wasting time, let us pass on to the proof. So, here this is an if and only if statement. So, what you have to do is, we will assume the first part and we will prove the second part first. So, here assume f is continuous and we will prove. Uh, f1 from a to x and f2 from a to y are continuous. To prove this, what we have to do is you have to take two projections that are uh, projection projections. Okay, they are pi one from x cross y to x, pi two from x cross y to y. Be the projections onto the first and second factors respectively. Take the projection first, then. You are taking two open sets from x and y. That is, you are taking. Uh, and opens it u from capital x and v from capital y that is what you have wrote in this sentence let u and v be the open sets in x cross y now then if it is like that then the by, by the definition you can write pi 1 inverse of so here uh, writing this is not difficult there is a shortcut i will tell you you are writing this by the definition and i will tell you the short trick also so that you don't forget or when writing in the exam paper you don't get confused okay for that i am saying this sir okay extra point consider this as an extra point so here how you can write this is uh, you have to keep this in your mind pi 1 from x cross y to x and pi 2 from x cross y to y so from this when you write pi 1 inverse of u I told you earlier what from the set x you are taking an open set u and from the set y you are taking an open set v, right? In the above steps that is what we have learned, we have seen. So here the next step is based on this step. That is, I will tell you pi one here. Uh, in the u is an open set from x, right? So with a pencil you can write like this u. And here, in this pi two, you know that v is an open set of y, right? So near to y, put this v. So here, what you are going to do is pi one inverse. When you writing, when you are writing pi one inverse of u, you will write instead of x, you put u, u cross v. When you write pi two inverse of v, write x as it is. In the place of y, put v, because v is an open set from x. Sorry, sorry, v is an open set from y, right? So that is why. Okay, can you understand? So this is open in x cross y. You have wrote this sentence also from the definition. So pi one inverse of u is equal to. I told you the trick to write this sentence. Without that trick, if you learn, you will forget. 
mark my words okay so here you got inverse images are open like that okay the inverse images are open that is how you got in this sentence we know that inverse image of an open set is open oh my god i will tell you here you wrote this so from this you are saying this is open in x cross y because inverse image of open set is open this is an inverse image of open sets u and v right can you get get my point these are inverse images of the open sets u and v we have a theorem inverse image of open set is open so that is why you are writing pi 1 inverse is also inverse is also open that is why that is how you wrote this line and uh, after writing this by the definition of projections you are writing this pi 1 inverse and pi 2 inverse are open in x cross y this is what the reason for writing pi 1 inverse of u and pi 2 inverse of v are open in x cross y i hope you understand okay now if inverse is open in uh, open then you can say that functions are continuous right so that is why you are writing therefore pi 1 and pi 2 are continuous now we have pi 1 composition f from a to x and pi 2 composition f from a to y right you are taking compositions here pi 1 composition f from a to x and pi 2 composition f from a to y let a belongs to capital e a we know that from this set a already i explained you when explain from a you are taking an element small a hmm? that is what you are taking here let a a belongs to capital a now pi 1 composition f of a you are finding okay then pi 1 of f of a you get pi 1 of in the place of f of a you are putting f1 of a comma f2 of a so that you will get this now by the definition you can write f1 of a now similarly you can find for pi 2 composition f you will get f2 since uh, f is continuous from the assumption you say f is continuous pi 1 and pi 2 also continuous the just above you have seen so since f is continuous and pi 1 and pi 2 are continuous you can say f1 and f2 are composition of two continuous functions therefore right f1 and f2 are composition of two continuous functions so that you can say f1 and f2 also continuous that is how the first part of the theorem we have proved now the converse part i will be explaining in another video i will be explain you in another video okay converse part